Shalom and welcome to Garden of Life, where Bible history and art comes to life. Today we are going to talk about Parsha Sab. In this short portion, we see the mentioning of three altars. So we're going to talk about those offerings that the high priest and the Levites and Aaron's sons were supposed to give to the Father once the tabernacle or the Mishkan was lifted up. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to tell you the materials you're going to need because today we are going to make one of the offerings. It's going to be a sheep. And we also want to make fire because on this Torah portion, the fire is supposed to be burning all night, all day, all night. So the fire could not go down, ever, cannot be put off the fire. So, and we're also going to talk about the meal offering, the different type of meal offering that the high priests were supposed to eat, and about also the guilt offering, that guilt offering that was supposed to be eaten in a very holy place, in a holy place. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, these are the materials you're going to need for your project. We're going to need construction paper, regular white construction paper. You're going to need cotton. I'm pretty sure you have cotton in your house. Uh, what else? We're going to work with googly eyes. You're going to have two googly eyes. Okay. And glue. That's all you're going to need for your project. Also, for the fire, you're also going to need construction paper, scissors, because you need to cut it down like this, okay? Brown paint, and a brush. Oh, also, give wrapping paper, okay, for your project. So, let's begin Parashat. So we are going to pretend that we have three altars here. I made three altars so you can see them with cups and I just cut a piece of construction paper that I had here just to give you the, the, the example. In reality, they were no gold, but um, they were actually bronze or copper altar. And I have them here, which is going to pretend that this is the altar. And I will explain to you the role of the high priest, right? This is my high priest here. This is Mr. Aaron. Hey, hi, Aaron. Hi to everybody. This is Mr. Aaron, dressed up in very nice clothes. So his job in the inauguration of the Mishkan, it was to give the first offering, which was the burnt offering, the Ola offering. It's very well known as the Ola offering. This offering was supposed to be burning all night long. So, Mr. Aaron had to change his clothes to his linen garments, right here, and take the ashes in the morning, right? Take the ashes out to a clean place. So, so right now we are going to begin, we are going to work with the fire. I am going to teach you how to make the fire and how to make the logs so we can put them in our altar. So here it is, kids. We are going to grab our piece of, of our uh, construction paper and we are going to paint it in brown. One is dry up. We are going to roll it like this. We're going to make like little logs. They actually look like yummy chocolate rolls, right? gonna make a couple of those to pretend that we're putting it in the altar. Okay, this is our cup and we have our logs ready. So you're gonna need like a little piece of construction paper and we are going to put our logs in here. The Bible says that the high priests were supposed to put uh, wood constantly. I mean, these are big logs. You can make them smaller. So you are going to arrange them like that. Let me put this on closer so you can see, like this. And now we are going to put the fire. Ah, let me see, I'm trying to put the phone here. Okay, um, we're going to try, we're going to make the fire. 
So you are going to grab a little piece of wrapping, gift wrapping paper, and just cut them in pieces. Okay. And you also grab a little piece of orange wrapping paper and cut them in pieces. And we are going to pretend that this is fire. We are going to make different ones, okay? Just give them the shape of the fire. And we are going to put them inside the log. Or between the logs, not inside the log, but between the logs. Let's pretend, see, that the fire, see, very nice. So you're going to make like three or four of those because the fire, the fire offering, the burnt offering was supposed to be burning all night long. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Here is the fire. You just put them between the logs. You can use glue if you want. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that this is an altar. So I so here is our altar and you have the fire burning. Now you can put a paper on top of here if you want, like a colorful one, brown or, or copper paper. So what was the job of the high priest? He change his clothes and then he will come in the morning and take the ashes, da -da 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 -da. take the ashes, see the fire burning and put more wood in the fire the fire could not go up. Okay, so now we're going to the second offering. Then we have the second offering when you were supposed to keep the fire burning, but here we offer a meal offering. In this meal offering, you have a fine flour mm, and also frankincense oil. When you pour the oil like this, you can make some delicious takes them to the Lord, bring it to the, you put them on the pan, you shake them, you offer it to the Lord as a meal offering. Delicious. Mm. And now at last we have the guilt offering. The guilt offering, you can offer a sheep, a goat, a bull, any of this. Can you like it? See it? So we offer a sheep. Bad. And this is what we are going to do today. We are going to make a sheep, okay? As one of the offerings, we are going to make one of the offerings. Let me fix this. It's not working. All right, now it's better. There you go. Okay, so we are going to make a sheep. And this is where we're gonna need your parent help or maybe you can do it yourself. We are going to make, we're going to give a shape of a sheep on the construction paper and we are going to use Cotton, glue, and googly eyes. Hey, one googly eye. Okay? And also, this little cloth pin. <laughs> cloth pins. <laughs> okay? So let's do this. Your parents or anybody can cut the, uh, the, the sheep. It can be round or just give it the shape of a sheep like that and we are going to paint we are going to put the cotton on top okay teach you how we are going to do something very simple you put your glue in it or paint I'm using paint in this case because I can find my glue uh, once your sheep have the glue you put cotton you put cotton this is very simple. You can make as many sheep as you want, just for fun, okay? See, this is a very, very, very sheep. They have a lot of wool in it. Look at this, so beautiful. So you can put as much as you want and you can make it as big or small as you want. You can make many of sheep too. So, and you finish putting lots of cotton in your sheep. And at last, you can put a dot of glue here on the head of the sheep, right? And you can put the googly eye. And you have a beautiful, beautiful offering. Look at this. So, this is so cute. And we are going to use the clothespin 
clothing pins and we're going to make our guilt offering there you go there you have it here it is and we are going to place it in the fire on the fire oh, who's gonna put it there so here you have your sheep and you place it on the altar but and this one the high priest Aaron and his son were supposed to eat in this on a holy place and whoever touches it become holy wow that's amazing well i hope you enjoyed this class and remember you can make as many sheets as you want Bye. shalom